there is a belief I, I would like to call it a religious belief there is a belief in the church today or in the life of believers today in the life of many Christians today there is a belief that when a Christian is facing a challenge it has to do with an attack it has to do with Satan it has to do with something with demons when a, a believer loses something people they question maybe you lost this thing because you are, you are a sinner maybe you lost it because you are sinning you are sleeping around that's why you did not get this job when you went to the interview you had an accident mm, uh, check yourself maybe there is a sin you committed that is following you hallelujah I'm sure 99% of us have that kind of mindset. We believe that when we are facing a test or a challenge, it is because of the devil or it is because we are under attack. Let's correct it a little bit from the scriptures today. Hallelujah. Please open with me into the book of John chapter 9. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Let's stop there a bit. Are you seeing the mindset of these people already? They see a man who was born blind and they are saying, who, co who committed the sin for this man to be blind? Who committed the sin? Is it him or is his family or his fathers that committed the sin for him to be blind? Then Jesus replied, verse number 3. Jesus answered, Neither has this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God or the glory of God should be made manifest in him. So which means God made this man to be blind so that glory will be revealed hallelujah do you understand it god made this man blind so that his glory will be revealed so if glory comes with blindness first do you know what the word glory means glory is god's weight god's presence god's nature so if God's nature requires me to be blind first for him to manifest himself, himself, I would rather start praying for blindness from today. For me to experience the nature of God, I would rather start praying for blindness from today. Lord, I, I want blindness. Because what does that teach us today in this message? It teaches us that before God's glory manifests, there must be a testing. Say to your neighbor, before God's glory manifests, there must be a testing. Testing is not demonic. Let me say it again. Testing is not demonic. Testing is God's way of proving people so that he can trust them. I'll say it again. Testing is God's way of proving people so that he can trust them. God does not trust people, he does not test. Many believers today, they don't want to go through trouble. They don't want to go through tests. Because they associate testing with an attack. Testing with the devil. Challenge with an attack. Challenge with the devil. Say it to your neighbor, testing is not demonic say it again like you mean it testing is not demonic each time God wants to bring forth his glory in your life each time God wants to promote you he brings forth a test before you go to university metric is metric an attack so God brings a what? A test before he manifests his glory in you. Before he promotes you. 
he brings forth a test hallelujah so each test that you face in your life let me put it this way many people have had a miscarriage in their lives many women many people have lost their jobs the moment they gave their life to Christ they got retrenched many people the moment they are blessed with maybe an anointed material a sticker the moment they just put it on the car here the following day accident boom car written off hallelujah and we start having questions in our heart why did this thing happen when i'm in the house of the lord which means i'm under attack you start praying unnecessary prayers and you fail to understand that each time you confess your faith god would want to test if you are genuine there is a belief that when a christian is facing a challenge it has to do with an attack it has to do with satan it has to do with something with demons 